Well, forgive me for skipping some steps. Uh, you've seen it all before. Um, the 323, that 325ZHP wagon, but uh, here is the three liter dropout. Um, the only casualty was the power steering pump, which happened after I took the engine out. Oh well, that's kind of a wear item anyway. Pulled that ZF5 HP19 trans off the back. Everything's complete and looking good. There is the ZF. And now, I've actually got the wagon up on the hoist in here. And I've got the power steering draining. I've got the trans cooler lines draining. Uh, I've got the engine oil drained. Transmission pan is drained. Shift linkage is disconnected. The electronics for the trans have been disconnected. The drive shafts out. Center bearing disconnected. Four bolt rear, because this is a 325. Um, if you guys remember from the videos past, 23s, 25s, and 28s have the four bolt flange, which I prefer. Uh, 330s and M3s have a six bolt. So yeah, um, I can tell this car was a southern car. The exhaust came out much easier than expected. One ugga dugga on the impact and all was well. <clears throat> Kind of a fun comparison. I actually still have the drive shaft here from that automatic California wagon that I did a few uh, few months ago. The GM's on the bottom, the ZF's on the top. The rear halves are identical. The GM is a substantially longer automatic. <clears throat> uh, tonight I'm just doing fluids on this thing. Once the uh, power steering kind of lets up, I'm gonna drain the pan and start on coolant and then leave that just kind of dribbling until I'm ready to come back. Uh, and then step one um, is going to be dropping the trans out independently on this one because it is easier and it's a little less uh, wearing on the car, which is important because this will be a daily driver. Uh, once the trans is out, I'm just going to make sure I have everything on the bottom disconnected, which the main items are going to be your lower motor mount nuts, um, your ground strap, which is right up in there with that tag on it. Uh, your AC compressor stays off to the side. Make sure your cooler lines for the power steering are disconnected. Your pressure lines for the power steering are disconnected. Your fuel lines disconnected. Your vacuum line for the purge canister is disconnected. <clears throat> and if you have a, an early car, the throttle cable as well. Um, and the heater lines uh, on the back to the heater core. So just uh, double check and go slow as you're pulling it out the top. But uh, like I said, this car will continue to see the streets, so I want to make sure it stays in as good a condition as possible. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, the first night's always the boring stuff. The second night's always the super productive one. Uh, I'm guessing the end of night two, that three liter will be sitting in the engine bay, <clears throat> ready for the ZF5 speed, which is right over there. And, uh, yeah. After that, I've just got to send off the MS-43 computer sitting over by my toolbox uh, and get it coded to 3 liter uh, software. And then also potentially the manual transmission swap software. We'll see. I kind of deal with two different people with coding. So I might use both on this project. That remains to be seen. But yeah, the, uh, the headers are staying on. That fancy MagnaFlow exhaust system over there is staying and uh, should be good. This thing should be pretty much turnkey ready to go and it should be a really really fun car with a five speed and a three liter so stay tuned i'm not sure how comprehensive the remainder of this series will be but at the very least i will show you guys when it's done thanks as always for watching and like share subscribe thank you